Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, if it goes right now, it'll make it. There we go. There is a car coming. because the traffic's moving slow, so it's able to, to figure this out quicker. Well, yeah, because we're not moving fast, it's able to figure it out. See, this is perfect if it does this. There we go. I do notice when we're at higher speed, it doesn't make the decision fast enough and then move over fast enough. I'll let it pull in here and then I'll set back to our start point and see how it handles all this. feet turn left a little slow accelerating here now turn left Now your destination is on the right.
Now turn right onto Centurion Way. Okay, left turn to this. Yep, correct. And then a right turn. I've got some traffic coming from the right. It could go if it goes now, but it's waiting too long, so that's fine. Got two cars, and then we should go. Nicely placed here. It's not impacting the in inbound traffic, which it would previously do. stop and then it proceeds. Still a little hesitant at this intersection for some reason. In 500 feet, turn left onto BK Canyon Road. Now turn left onto BK Canyon Road. Okay, it's taking too long. I'm giving it a little push. Really slow accelerating here. There it goes. Okay, so this might be a good example of this right turn onto Plum Canyon. There's a lot of traffic behind me and a lot of traffic, well, okay, moderate amount of traffic in front of me. So let's see if it's able to do this without me having to intervene and it gets it, it get itself cut off. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. So it needs to move with this traffic. The people behind me are already getting into that right lane. See, it's trying to pass. No, see, I have to... <laughs> Car not properly entering right lane with traffic. It would have been stuck in that lane. Totally would have got itself stuck again. Now turn right onto Plum I was Canyon hoping Road. with the highway stack and the way the neural networks work with the highway and merging that it would have treated that turn differently. So that's why I'm testing this with the, the, the new 11.3.1 to see if it influences the behavior on city streets as well. It doesn't seem to be. smooth, quick entry into left turn lane. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, FSD Beta 11.3.1 on my loop to Saugus High School.